I journeyed to the most affected communities of Nakasaka district that was hit by a devastating thunderstorm. Starts from this grab thatched church in the Mecca of the NRA, NRM, Bushwa Jangles of Kikandwa. <laughs> The roads are impossible. They have been destroyed by the rains. The aftermath audit starts here at Kikandwa Hospital, where the Thursday heavy thunderstorm destroyed Banna plantations and raising to the ground this Sunday school. Now, both the adults and the juveniles attend the same services in the main church. The church also acts as a greenery where harvested maize grains are kept for the moment. <laughs> From here, I visited an elderly woman. She's a widow too, living in her early 90s. Her biological children and the grandchildren abandoned her. She stays here alone. She's called Nalongo, having given birth to twins. Nalongo survived by a whisker when the thunderstorm uprooted a huge tree in front of her home. She tells me that her banana plantation was raised to the ground she also reveals that her worry is the unspotted famine since her plantation is no more. I left Nalongo's home at 10.30 a.m. and my next destination was Kikandwa Health Center too. None of the health worker is here. The question would be, if I told somebody falls sick now, what's going to happen? This was after the heavy rains left them homeless. The roof of the hospital facility too had been blown up by the winds. But what is the situation like inside the hospital? I walk into what would act as a pharmacy for these uh, hospital. I can see a lot of stuff here, uh, and uh, quite very disturbing, but uh, it has been closed. Uh, here I have, there is medicine, which they say that was the only medicine left, and it was partly destroyed by the rains because uh, when trained and the, the house started leaking, when uh, the, the rains blew off the iron sheets, uh, it ended up uh, destroying the drugs here. We are meant to understand that this was a community center, but due to the urgent need of having a health facility in Kikandwa to save the locals from trekking long distances over six miles to Semito Health Center 3, the facility was turned into a hospital. <laughs> Briefly, I will take you now in the room that where some doctors were sleeping. Now you can see, rains hard to power inside. Those are some of the shoes of doctors that had to run for their dear lives. They could not make it here. As you can see now, uh, these were some of their jerkins where they had stocked water, and uh, they are no more to be seen. They have ran for their dear lives. So 
as and when government is going to come in to help them, the faster, the better. But as we speak, doctors, the doctor's bed is just swimming in a pool of water. From Kikando Health Center 2, I visited the home of the NRM Bush War hero, the late Lutamaguzi, to find out how the widow and the family members are surviving after the heavy thunderstorm. However, efforts to reach the widow of the late Lutamaguzi were futile. I was told that the elder woman is indisposable. She could not speak on camera. I moved to the gardens where I found her granddaughter, Erina Lutamaguzi, who made a tally count of how much they had lost in the heavy rains and thunderstorm. Tefe tumanye ngeje tunabela, utu nabela ukuchisachi akatonda. Kumange mele yonaje tupade tuina, yetusubila ukulia maso, yunkuba yonaje ononye. Netusiga kwe gamba. Chechisela wa mjo ulianga wa gamba, mbasiga deva fumbia miyaji. Na ye mbela sinuji. Over 30 villages here in Kekandwa were affected. Many of the people we spoke to are uncertain of what tomorrow will hold. Now I'm in a place called Namirembe where we have found a charge for the Bona Gangs. This charge was also raised to the ground, but unfortunately, no life was lost. As you can see it from the background here, it was blown and the whole roof had to sink in the middle of the church. Leave us here now, pray from outside under a mango tree. <laughs> Helen Otim is the pastor of this born again church. I asked her what ran into her mind when she was told that the church had been raised to the ground. I was just shocked because of people's lives and I ran very fast to the church. Fortunately, I found not the person. The person I found there had been injured just, just narrowly. She was still living and we took him urgently to the hospital to get the first treatment. Now she's okay and she has improved. Fortunately, no death occurred as the church crumbled to the ground. But what next? I request all good Samaritans. The, the honor levels, the MPs in different constituencies, our honor level, the women, women MP, to stand with us and all and those people with good hearts to stand with us and we, we construct the work of God again. How do you feel having spent a lot of energies on the church and then mm -hmm. all of a sudden mm -hmm. it was blown? Where were you at the time it was? Mm -hmm. yes. Thank you, thank you very much, very much, very much. I meant you now. Thank you, thank you. Erna Primary School too suffered strange devastations. The roof of one of the blocks was blown off. And however, government efforts to reach out to the people have since proven futile. Written so many uh, requests uh, to different sectors that are in relation to the, uh, to the issues we are talking about but we haven't yet got any replies. But we try to write directly to His Excellency uh, to help us, to give us a special hand to ensure that at least this area is also elevated in terms of health and even infrastructures. I asked him whether the Department of Disaster Preparedness in the office of the Prime Minister was aware of the catastrophe that has left scores homeless and food plantations destroyed. Uh, the majority of our citizens don't have what to eat today. So I'm just appealing. I just I tried to appeal to the Ministry of Disaster Preparedness, but they told me they couldn't have enough funds to help us 
uh, in such a situation we are in now, but maybe given the fact that the president, the president is <coughs> brother Salim Sare also hails from this same area, Kapeka, so maybe he can give us a hand. Timodosibasi, the Star Vision, Nakasake District.